Do you want to improve your sneaker game? If yes, there are three main areas you should look at. The purpose of this video is to help you to improve your all-round game and give you strategy and tactics so you could do practice with the purpose and direction. Overall technique stands for bridge, stance, grip, address position, cue action, sighting, aiming. This is the first area you must look at because otherwise other areas with a proper skill set cannot be achieved. It is a very difficult area to improve by yourself because you can easily misinterpret the information and start training badly leading to ineffective habits. PDF checklist 71 overall technique points. In this checklist there are 71 points on how specifically you can improve your overall technique. It's free. If you are interested, make sure to fill up the form. You can find the form below the description box and I will send you the checklist to your email or phone number on WhatsApp and Telegram. First thing which you should look at is the bridge and must be rock solid with no additional movement before, during and after the shot. Spread your fingers to form a solid V shape. Second thing you should look at is your stance should be balanced and comfortable. You probably heard this million times but you will be surprised how many players are doing this incorrectly. Ability to see a straight or correct potting angle. Walk into the aiming line without moving sideways and see a correct line. Your cue action must be smooth and effortless. You got to be a solid ball striker if you want to put balls and control cue ball well consistently. And rest play. Rest play technique is slightly different, but the core principles should have remained the same. Cubo control and knowledge. As your overall technique progresses, you want to work on your cubo control and knowledge. It is all about shot selection, decision making like cubo height, cubo speed control, side spin impact on the cubo, and object ball pattern play. You can improve this area by practicing drills, watching other better or top players about their decision making on any given shot. Drills to do to improve your cubo control. I start with the most important, start with the break building cubo control drills, work on the close distance, middle distance, long distance. Then second part is your safety play. You have to understand if you want to score heavily, you need to keep your distance tight, create extra scoring chances for yourself that will help you to score more and win more. It's snooker escape, so you need to understand cubo speed height, cushion bound physics and if you are capable to do snooker escapes consistently well Faceless then for our opponent it's very difficult to put you in the trouble. It's a great effort. Oh what a hit! What a hit! Off the table things you can do to improve your cubo control. First principle is trial and error principle. You can need to reflect on your mistakes on giving shots and try to learn from them what kind of decisions you can make to basically have a better outcome. Second very very important thing is you need to absorb top player shot selection because live or online better players usually have a better shot selection and just by making better decisions you make your game way more easy. And the third one, again, you need to hire a coach and work together if you want to improve your game more rapidly. So let's talk about mental game. So it is all about how your mind responds to pressure during practices and matches. So there are a few techniques you can use to improve your mental game. So you need to have breathing, correct breathing, visualization techniques and proper fitness with rest. Those things can reduce anxiety, lack of motivation or just a basic brain fog so you could have a more mental sharpness during game time. Here are my recommendations for all level players. Let's start with the beginner step. Start with the most important area at this stage and don't rush to learn new things too quickly. Work on your technique first and try to learn the most important basics. Let's talk about intermediate players. My suggestion for you is to work on your overall technique and cubo control 50-50% time. For the advanced players, the better you get, the more advanced stuff you want to learn. It is a nice feeling to stay at the moment and not let the pressure be stronger than you. Strong mental game will help you to reach your potential, play better and win more. So guys, hopefully you enjoyed this video and you got lots of value. If you have any more questions, please leave your comments below the description box or text me privately. If you like this video, make sure to like it, subscribe it and ring the bell if you are new here. See you soon, take care.